Hi, I'm Michelle Duffy, Editor-in-Chief of American Quilter Magazine, and I'm here with Barbara Korngold of Chevy Chase, Maryland. She has won an honorable mention ribbon in our bed quilt, hand quilted category. I'm sorry, that was a mouthful. Very good. <laughs> okay. Well, Barbara, welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And please tell us a little bit more about your quilt. This quilt came from, well, the de design is based on a Dover publication. Um, on one little page in one little book, I saw three black and white sketches. I mean, literally, they were that big on the page. And I was at a point where I wanted to do a quilt that was not my traditional blocks and a border. Um, and this I thought could be that quilt with the three panels and different kinds of borders on it. So I enlarged those tiny little designs and those are these three panels. I made some changes in them. I mean, for instance, this, this urn was much bigger. There were animals and so I changed that and some other changes that I made. And um, when I started it, I just had the three panels. I didn't know what the finished product would be, that sort of, it talks to me as I, as I work on it and it says I need this and I need that. Um, so the top border and the bottom border also came from a Dover publication. These sections, I took the design off a hair barrette. It's a really nice mix. Um, will you tell us more about this really intricate applique that you've done here? I do needle turn. Um, it's all hand done. That's what I enjoy doing. I, I, I don't have the kind of relationship with my machine that I can sit there for hours sewing on the machine. And also I find the applique portable and to me it's very forgiving. And you know, if something isn't exactly right, it's easy to adjust the next piece to make it, to make it work. I don't have to worry about matching seams and perfect points that the piecers do. Yes. So this is what makes me happy. Great. Um, I see that you have a couple different types of fabrics here. Um, I restricted myself in my choice of fabrics. I used batiks, I used silks, and I don't know if you can see, but these amazing hand-dyed marbled cottons. Um, Marjorie Bevis in Oregon makes them, and I had used them previously on a quilt, and I had a lot left. Um, so I limited myself to those three types of fabrics. I have a lot of the marbles left. You may see them again on another quilt. <laughs> oh, well, on that note, are you planning another AQS Quilt Week I, ha I have a new quilt that's going to be in Paducah next month that I'm very excited about. Um, this quilt probably is its last public appearance. It's going to go home to my linen closet. <laughs> oh, well, we absolutely love it. And um, is there anything else that you find intriguing or do you think that quilters out there would like to know about your quilt? I think each of my quilts are different than the others. Um, I, I think probably my quilts are not identifiable. I, I don't have a particular style or look, I don't think, to my quilt. Um, they're each one different, which makes me happy and keeps me interested. But on that note, you did have another quilt? I had a quilt here last year that did very well, that also was very exciting. Um, I've had good luck at this show, great. so I hope to be here again. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining us today, and we appreciate you bringing this lovely quilt for us to view and Google, if you don't mind my saying so. And uh, thank you again for spending some time with me. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. Thanks. And thank you. We'll see you again at the next Quilt Week.